All right, y'all, it's the next day after recovering my car. I'm going to show you exactly what they did. So when we pulled up, I noticed I was going. I was taking Shadow outside, and I noticed my car wasn't there. I thought I was tripping. But then I checked my location on my tracker, and I pulled up to the spot. It was somewhere in Redford in an abandoned garage. And as soon as we opened the garage, the hood was popped just like this. This was off. They took out the ignition fuse and the horn fuse, which is common. You know, they don't like to hear, let people hear their cars go off. So I knew that was going to be that. And I came back here. My whole back window was busted. And look, we up here at the car wash. Don't mind this part right here. I don't know if I'm going to get it fixed or I should just sell it like that. I might just sell the car since people want to play with me and steal my car. Watch out. I'm going to just pop out when I get a house. This is sad. This this is something you shouldn't have to do as a YouTuber, especially if you build cars and look out for people, bro. Here, look at all this glass. You see this shadow? Why is people stealing? Why are people stealing from our home, bro? I don't know, man. life gang whoever stole my fucking car look my steering wheel shaking so hard at 75 miles per hour they didn't ball my car up, bro this bitch is shaking so damn hard this is terrible <laughs> Uh, look how I've been treating the cat lately. Look at this shit. And, well, this still got juice in it. This half filled. This bitch gone. This bitch got a quarter inch in that motherfucker. That bitch ain't even open and shit. This what about this and shit. That's not even open either. And it's all trash right here. We got a we got a nasty ass animal right here putting dirt stains all on my shit. Let me have one of these. Go ahead. And then at that we got clothes in the back. Move, move, bro. Move, bro. You making my shit look dirty. Look, nigga done stole my stole my car. Now every time I shut the door, it sound like glass. Move, move, Get Shadow. Back up, back up. You hear that? You can hear the glass Get inside the, the door. Come on. Get the fuck in the car, goddamn. We about to go ahead and clean this bitch out, though. Okay. White. All right, so we letting we letting this nigga fray. Dry the cat right now. I don't know what this video. What? Put it down a little bit. Ooh, he's in the, like this. He's in the ready. Ooh, shit. Ooh. Nigga, check it. Is it is it correct? Uh, hell yeah, shit. Ooh, we got oh. Damn. I know the power steering. Damn. Yo, if y'all didn't know, the power steering did go out on my Hellcat. Completely. Yeah, it's completely up. 
like the power <coughs> steering don't work at all it only works when you when you put gas like like you gas that bitch up then it'll loosen up like you can still slide with no power steering type shit like try to turn it try to turn it all the way damn <laughs> that bitch stiff as hell that bitch not turning are you sure you can handle this a Hellcat with no power steering. It takes a real driver to do this. Damn. We do have the Hellcat <laughs> dog back here. Uh, Nigga lame as hell. It is tight as fuck. Which way? Uh, left. Damn. Oh, damn. damn. Make sure that bitch good. It's good. Oh, I didn't even start that bitch. Boy, you dumb as hell, boy. I'm gonna take it. All right, say what well, they don't see me. We live that bitch. All right, so we a, we a cat with the panoramic and shit. Oh, bro. Tight like, shit, you baby. Hey, this bitch is 707 mode. Let's see. Let's see if this is 707 mode. Hell no, that bitch in eco. Oh, you know what you wanted in sport, track. What you wanted in track? Track. What's up? This a track. Oh, shit. Hold on. This a dirty track. We be spinning blocks in it. Let's get busy. You ain't listen to no music and shit, bro. I know, we can't listen to music. Copyright shit. For real. Like it's loosened up. Yeah, loosen up when you when you put uh your foot on the gas and shit. No, like feel it. I know, I know it loosened up, but loosen up a lot. God damn, we can get As soon as you turn that motherfucker, look at you, look at you, look at you, stiff as head. <laughs> Wide ass turn. <laughs> Y'all want to know what I don't understand is why did Dodge decide to put liquid power steering on a Hellcat? It don't make sense to me. Like, why? Damn. 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 that bitch let's make it real real quick that? it's right here turn uh left in that lot right here we about to make us a good little real home sweet home type Ooh, shit oh we in the dodge dealership oh, on a sunday not a monday not a tuesday not a wednesday nigga if you don't go in this bitch quicker nigga nigga i'm trying go right. to nigga god damn we in that dodge dealership i ain't for all right, y'all. We doing a, a dealership video, pulling up to the to our home sweet home, a Mopar, Mopar for life. Fuck Chevy, fuck uh, Ford. You feel me? So we pulling up to the Dodge dealership and making a video at our at our true home. You know, all Dodge vehicles. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I've been thinking about 
awesome. What? I think we need to like break up. Boy, don't come on break on me. What? When you break up? Yeah. Mm. You don't give a fuck? Yeah. Cause I know you're playing. Bro, my plan. Hello. Why you so nice to mine? Why you ain't yelling? Why you ain't yelling? Like you supposed, you supposed to be yelling like, no, we ain't doing this. You supposed to be on that. Man, shut up. Now get ready, I'm gonna come over. What up, YouTube? I'm literally just not waking up on my sleep. I just got a good phone call, you know? But, uh, bro, I'm very fucking tired. I ain't go to sleep till like six o'clock in the morning, bro. Uh, I say probably, I'm I'm about to put all clips of just what's been going on with my car, bro. I've been stressed out, bro. After somebody has stole my car, bro, I've been having nothing but bullshit going on. So uh, the day, I'm gonna start from the day that my car got took, right? damn bro i look terrible the day that my car got took i walked outside and i noticed it wasn't there so i was pissed i had Oli pull up he came and took me to to go grab my car a few of my boys pulled up just in case somebody was on that so i got my car back and then um shit i got everything fixed i got a new key all kinds of shit i guess a few days a few days after um i got my car back i'm in like the the suburb area because i found it in detroit slash um like this other area it was an abandoned garage and then um i guess my plate had a, a flag on it and i got pulled over and they searched my car and everything and they asked did that department call me i was like no why there's like the cars involved in the fleeing. So I'm like, damn, I'm like, all right, but. So I took it home and in the middle of taking it home, I had hit like a, a raccoon or a possum on the freeway going 70. So my intercooler broke. So all my coolant fucked up and then my shit got the overheating. So I just haven't been, I haven't drove it for two days straight. And then I come outside one day and my car not there no more. So I'm thinking somebody stole it again. I'm like, what the fuck? And I check my trackers and shit. That bitch was in a tow yard. Well, it said collision shop. My first mind is like thieves took it to a collision shop to try to find my trackers and, and all kinds of stuff. So I'm in this, I'm getting mad as hell. So I check, so I get the call in places. I'm like, why is my car up there? Da -da -da -da. And they, I called the um, police and they said that my car got impounded. I was like, why? And I guess it was for that fleeing and I had told them the situation and everything. So right now I'm pulling up on Oli. My car been there for like a week now and they've been constantly not answering the phone, not telling me why my car's in there. I'm just assuming that's the reason why it's in there. So. I'm pulling up on Oli. He's finna uh, take me to go grab it. So I'm gonna hit y'all up. All right, y'all. We starting up the track hook. Let's see what this bitch talking about. Yeah. Airbag delete, you know. Kind of more horses and shit. This bitch got a cam in it. So we getting the cat back. I'm gonna go with me. Look at that SRTG. Shit. That bitch low key stolen. Um, look at the cat. Mm, uh. Let's go check it out, dude. Take my thumbnail, bro. Y'all, when I found the car, I don't know why, but 
the niggas already replaced a window. So it was just glass in there, so. And look, oh my God. This looks terrible. Eh. All right, take my thumb down. Y'all see how there's no coolant in there? You know where that runs from? Whoop. All the way down here. It's a line down here. And boom. It's because of that stupid ass possum or raccoon I ran over two days before the police came and snatched my car out of my fucking apartment. But yeah, the cat is free and we just waiting for them to come tow it. And yeah, so. Shit, I'm gonna hit y'all up when this get back to my house. We're gonna fix it. I got the parts to fix the car already. And yeah, guys, next clip in four, three, two, one. All right, y'all, we up here at the Dodge dealership to get some coolant for my supercharger. Look what they got in the, in the, in the showroom. <clears throat> Old fashioned. Uh, no, parts. Yeah, appreciate it. They got the cat. Them for sure aftermarket. Shit. Good little cat charger. Cat Charlie. This bitch hard. He got the, the Elka Terror. Shit. I don't know why them glossy fast books actually look sweet in the showroom. I swear to God. I'm fixing the car right now as y'all can see when I hit the rodent it had tore most of my bumper up you see it and ripped off the uh, belly pan tore up the quarter of a of my fucking bumper I just bought and then it also ripped out this tube right here as you can see the plastic is still stuck in there it came from the intercooler you can see it's broke it's fucking broke. And it's all bent in, so. I feel real bad for that, that possum that I killed because I heard it and I seen it right before it happened. I'm going 70, I'm looking at my phone. I look, I look up and there go a fucking possum, literally right there by my tire. I can't swerve or nothing, shit. He dead now, rest in peace, for real. But fuck you too though, because you fucked up the cat, you hear me? Fuck that rodent, you hear me? <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much all the damage it did to the car. It ripped this off. I thought it would have broke this coolant line right here, but it didn't. It just broke that plastic piece, so I gotta swap these out. I hope this not fucked up to where, I hope it don't leak, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is, man. We gonna see if it works, so I'm about to get to putting this on. I think, yeah, I just got to take these off. This is a 10 millimeter. Take this hose off. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a 10 millimeter on both sides. So, yeah, that's how I'm going to take it off. And then I'm about to replace it. So, I'm going to set y'all up and let y'all see. Y'all, look at this handy dandy tool. Y'all can't really see my face because the car's not jacked up or nothing. But this tool right here, 
takes hoses off. I'm about to show you exactly how this works. So, you wanna grab the hose, the hose clamp. Damn, hold on, I gotta release it. There you go. Grab the hose clamp, put that motherfucker on, right, right there. And just squeeze it, just like that. Boom, now it locks off. Locks on. Where my pliers go? Take my pliers and I just pull this bitch out. Just like that, it came out. And then I want to take this hose off now, so I release it. Now I go to this one. When the thieves stole my car, they took all my tools out of my trunk. I had all my tools in my trunk. So this is a warning for y'all. Make sure you guys do not leave any valuable items in y'all vehicles. No matter how safe your car is, they can still bust your fucking window and take everything you got. So that's crazy because I just bought a whole brand new set of tools and they took it again. So I got to re-up. It's crazy. But fuck it, you know. Shit happens. Life is life. Go through up and downs. Shit. Can't do nothing but learn from your let from your um learn nothing from your or whatever the fuck I'm trying to say. Alright y'all, so we got our our Mopar coolant, you feel me? Straight from the dealer, you know. And then we fixed we fixed the inner cooler. So this is the broken one. You see it broke right here. So fuck you, possum. But anyways, we fixed it. That's this is the replacement one. I'm not sure if we got to rebleed the supercharger. We just gonna test it and see. We about to fill up the coolant reservoir, and I need to top this off because it's not a lot in there. So I'm just going ahead and get started. You feed. How do you believe the supercharger? That Allen key. Mm -hmm. When you was driving your car and um you seen a thing, it never overheated, did it? No, because I didn't drive it that much. Yeah, so you shouldn't have to bleed it. We're just gonna wait for the tube to suck out all this shit and go throughout the system and fill it up, you know. It don't look like it's it's sucking shit in for real though. We're just gonna see. Should I start the car up? Yeah. All right, man. Ain't nothing. That never fell out. This just a supercharger. No, it is some in there. I just need to top it off. I start this motherfucker. Shit. <laughs> So the coolant is going down as you can see. So that means it's going throughout the system. Hopefully I don't gotta re-bleed the system because I don't have the tool at the moment. This is usually how you bleed the coolant right here. You twist that off and just let the coolant flow through it. Hopefully I ain't gotta do that because I don't have the tool. Yeah, as of now, shit, there's no leak in it. it Seem to be good right now, so we just gotta check the coolant tent, make sure it don't overheat or nothing. Let's see. Coolant temp at 
36. I should change my power steering pump, but I don't got the tool for that either right now. My power steering pump did go out. So my steering wheel is hard as fuck to turn. Other than that, this car is pearled. Ugh. I'm just mad somebody stole my shit because it was, this car was in beautiful condition until it got stolen. After it got stolen, I've been having constant problems with the police and just with the car in general, so. I'm finally about to fix this. And then shit, go about that. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man. It's fast like making.